And as we briefly just saw, President Park Geun-hye was certainly busy on the first day of the ASEAN Korea summit in Busan, holding back-to-back -back bilateral meetings with six leaders from the region. And for uh, some of the notable progresses made during these uh, one-on-ones, here is our presidential office correspondent, Choi Yoo-sun. After concluding an FTA with Vietnam, the Korean president secured a positive response from her Indonesian counterpart Thursday when she suggested they resume their FTA negotiations. Such bilateral deals are expected to increase the number of Korean firms that can benefit from free trade with ASEAN. As for investments in the region, the Thai Prime Minister promised to allow a Korean company retain priority when Bangkok selects a bidder for part of its $10 billion river management project. President Bak first raised the issue to the Thai leader last month after the new government in Bangkok said it would reconsider giving Korea priority. Winning infrastructure construction bids has become a major deal for Korean firms, with the ASEAN closely trailing the Middle East in terms of market size. On regional security, ASEAN leaders were united in voicing concerns about the threat of Pyongyang's nuclear weapons development to world peace and endorsed President Bak's efforts to denuclearize the peninsula by way of inter-Korean trust building and non-political cooperation. South Korea, as an aid recipient turned donor nation, pledged to expand development assistance to Laos and customize Korea's Hemal Undong, or modernization of rural communities, to meet the needs of the Southeast Asian country. In addition, Seoul vowed to soon assist the Philippines with recovery efforts in the aftermath of a typhoon in the country, which claimed dozens of lives. Following a marathon of talks, President Buck hosted her ASEAN counterparts and first ladies at a banquet that fused tradition and modernity, representing both Korea and ASEAN. Having reaffirmed their will to boost their cooperative ties, the 11 leaders will meet on Friday to discuss a range of regional and global issues. Choi Yoo-sun, Arirang News, Busan.